Loblaw is facing backlash once again. A select few stores began testing receipt scanners, which require shoppers to scan their receipt barcode before they're allowed to leave the store. The scanners are being tested in four locations across Ontario, including one Zares. The backlash has been swift. Customers say they feel like they're being accused of something they didn't do. Plus, is this even legal? Well, to answer that and other questions, we're joined by Daniel Tsai, professor at Queen's University Smith School of Business and consumer advocate. Daniel, welcome. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. Okay, so I understand that shoplifting is up 300% since, you know, in just the, the, uh, the last couple of years. I want to feel for these companies, but they're making money hand over fist, right? Grocery prices are so high. So can you put this in a context that will help me understand how big a deal shoplifting is so that I can start to feel a little bit of sympathy for these stores? Well, the response of uh, these gates and receipt checking is a function of higher shrink, which is basically more theft. And so uh, Loblaws has come out and said this might be a function of organized crime, but uh, at the end of the day... Oh, wow. Uh, I, do you think that's... Organized crime? I mean, seriously, do you do you think organized crime is coordinating a whole bunch of people to take soup cans or something like that? Like, can you walk me through their argument on that? Yeah, so they're talking about high theft items, uh, items that are extremely expensive. Uh, those things are being put behind locks and so forth, and they're going through these additional measures. But this is actually a response to the fact that they've shifted to self checkout. Mm. When you go shopping there or in their pharmacies and so forth, like shoppers, you're finding that there's no human beings there. And when you don't have human beings, theft rates go up no matter what. So I don't know if the evidence is actually clear cut that this is organized crime and they haven't really come out and proven it. And when they do the back of the envelope math, I mean, it costs money to have a person at the checkout. You save a bunch of money if you get rid of that person. But then if shoplifting goes up, you're losing money there. So I'm seeing more and more of these self-checkouts. It, it must be paying for itself. Or is it not? Is that why they need to put these things in? Well, they're trying to optimize their, their money and their profit. And what they want to do is reduce labor as much as they can by just having self-checkouts. And at the same time, they want to stop as much theft as they can. So it's a, it's a situation where they're just trying to squeeze as much out of the lemon they can. Yeah, sure. Okay, so... Let's imagine you're going grocery shopping, you do the self-checkout, and then you're about to walk out, and then somebody says, hold it right there. You need to scan your receipt just so we can check, and you're not allowed to leave until you've done that. Is that legal? Can they stop me from walking out of the store if I've got my groceries and I've, I've finished paying, I'm ready to go? What's, so, what's the legal side on that? So here's the thing. If you've done everything you're supposed to do, you bought your groceries, you paid it, and uh, you've done nothing wrong, they can not effectively stop you. Now, it works on, on this principle. If, when a store stops you, they're engaging what's called a citizen's arrest. This is, means they're doing uh, what a police officer would do if you were actually committing a crime. Hmm. But they actually have to prove it. They have to have evidence, either video or security guard. Somebody's seen you do this. And if they don't have that evidence, they can't prove it, and they, they unlawfully confine you, that's false imprisonment. And then, then things get interesting legally for everyone. Yeah. So. Uh, you're an expert on this. Loblaws is facing backlash. Their PR has been a little bit of a mess since prices yep. went up. Um, now people are saying, oh, now you're accusing us of crimes. If you were advising Loblaw with this policy or how to deal with shoplifting in general, what would you say their best course of action is to take forward? Well, one of the things I teach is marketing, and uh, I would say this is a fail. Uh -huh. uh, this is not what you do when you want to build uh, loyalty and trust among your customers. You know, they, are, they already feel bad enough being imprisoned by high prices. <laughs> Why should they be imprisoned in your store? Yeah, absolutely. Daniel, thank you so much for your perspective on thank this. Thank you. All right. Up. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.